Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Anna and this is my weekend reading for the end of the month. Okay, the 29th through the 31st. Goodbye May and hello June. Okay, so it's a weekend reading. What does that mean? T-G-I-F, T-G-I-F, yay! We made it to the weekend. Okay, so three tarot card, one oracle. What do we have here? The King of Swords appears again, okay? Followed by the Empress, followed by the Eight of Pentacles. This King of Swords, and, oh, and then of course is the, the Wizard of Awareness. I'll get to that in a second. This King of Swords is very busy, okay? The weekend closes out, and the King of Swords, there's that Eight of Pentacles influence. There's the Empress, and she's actually floating in the air. Meanwhile, the King of Swords in this picture is grounded, okay? He's on the ground, Empress, who is Earth, right? However, though she's Earth, she's floating in the air, okay? So we've got a little flip-flop of, of elements here, okay? Um, just by the imagery, not that the Empress represents air. Please understand that, okay? I'm just looking at the how interesting that the Empress is up in the air instead of down here grounded. And he's, you know, he's got the wings and everything, but he seems a bit more grounded than she does in a weird sense. I don't know. Anyway, that aside, um, there's work and collaboration going on, okay? So there's work and collaboration. The Eight of Pentacles signifies a lot of work. And if you see the arrangement of these pentacles, it almost looks like a little ladder. Boom, 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 boom. And it's like a little S-curve here, a little just curving around, okay? So there's a lot of work still to be done. However, the advice is, though this person was there to help you um, for a period, you have to detach yourself and... And give that person some breathing room, okay? Because he or she, well, in this case I say he, he has a lot of burdens. He has other things that, though we don't see the cards to the left, I didn't pull cards to the left, but if I would imagine, based on that Eight of Pentacles and him facing this way, um, and with this Wizard of Awareness, is telling me there's some other things that he needs to attend to. So there are things that he needs to attend to over here. Um, so there's work. Um, work that needs that you need to get done that's going to be on you so that burden lies on you right now okay you can doesn't mean that you can go to him again but at this time he's going to need some breathing room because he's got other projects and works uh, work to attend to um, and so uh, the king of swords um, just telling me that somehow it's like he's going on a trip or he there's something going on there's something that grabs his attention over here on the left whatever that is okay I'm just making an assumption based on the way the cards are facing looking at each other you know facing each other and being that he's facing out he is now looking externally to something there's something going on okay so um, that is gonna take priority at this time the wi the wizard of awareness is saying you know Things go in a, in circles and spirals at times. Don't worry. The Wizard of Awareness says don't take things personally, okay? Um, this wizard can also, being that it's a male um, figure, the archetype. Sorry, I feel like sneezing. And that's going to happen, I think, just now. Hang on. Oh, oh I was going to sneeze and it escaped me. Sorry. <laughs> Anyhow, um... So yeah, there's a lot of thinking going on here, okay? So things are twirling and twirling around for him in his world. Um, and he's he's kind of bearing the weight of the world on his shoulders a little bit, okay? Um, so for the Empress, that's right, sandwiched in the middle here. For those of you who are seem to be caught in the middle or need some help or assistance, but you're caught in the middle and you can't really grasp uh, the assistance from someone this weekend just try to handle things on your own that's all it's gonna say that's all this is saying you need to just handle things on your own baby steps because there's still a lot of work to do um, per the eight of pentacles don't take things personally but with the three of ember the three and the three that's a number of co of collaboration so that collaboration will come this king of swords will re-enter your life again though right now the timing 
Ah, uh, there's a timing issue. Okay, so with the timing here, it's saying that uh, at this time it is advisable that you let someone sort of work on the things that they need to work on. Okay, um, yes, they are a a huge resource for you at this time, but they have things to work on. Acknowledge that, and just you know, let up on the leash a little, will ya? That's all I'm saying. Um, so yeah, no, we're not gonna take things personally this weekend. Okay, that's all this is about. And it's just interesting to get with the pentacles and here the, the thinking processes and the 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 earth. Um, it's just like work, work, work. <laughs> Um, so we've got material matters that come to mind in the sense of the things that we need to do, you know, the tangible things, okay, our tasks and whatnot, and so on and so forth. This is a general reading. Not a super fun reading for the weekend, um, but it's a good takeaway. The good takeaway point is that, uh, you know, we're entering the weekend and, yeah, we have other things on the agenda. We might want to think ahead to next week, but the cards are saying don't, not so fast, okay? So take it really one day at a time. That's what the cards are saying. And I'm going to anchor this reading on the fact that we need to take it one day at a time. Uh, we can only hit someone up for something, but so many times, you know, just give them that freedom at this time because they've got a lot going on. Whatever it is, there's a lot going on give them some time and then you can revisit the uh, the subject later on okay all right so this weekend let up on matters just take a breather slow down a little okay and don't take offense to someone being too busy to answer your email or whatever that's all that it comes down to pretty simple right not a big shebang right <laughs> But that's all I've got for you and that's all the cards are really relaying to me so I'm gonna end the reading right there have a wonderful weekend. Uh, take this time to shut off your email and just kind of let things ride. Let things ride a bit. Um, and then you can pick things up again next week. Hope this reading has helped you in some fashion and form. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your patience. I appreciate you tuning in. I appreciate your comments. I know it's Sometimes it takes me a day or two to get back to comments, but I appreciate your comments nevertheless. They're all very, you are all very important to me. Okay, so this ends our Tarot Oracle card journey for the week, and we'll come back here on Monday. I'll see you back on Monday. We'll pick it up all over again. Okay, friends, I'll see you then. Adios. Bye-bye.